All right, students, Brian Proctor, I'm back again. All right, so first of all, these are a couple um, mini posters that I'm working on for my Kickstarter book, uh, Animal Corp. I'm not gonna really talk about that too much in this video. I just put this there for you to look at to keep me from seeing my hands just move around in front of a blank piece of paper. So um, one thing I wanna apologize for is the inconsistency in videos. Now, I thought about it earlier today, and from the beginning of my YouTube career, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I know I wanted to teach, but it's like, who am I teaching to and what am I teaching? So I gave it some thought, and long story short, this video is going to be dedicated to the beginners, because you have to start somewhere, because you know when I started, there was nobody to teach me, because a lot of videos out there... Uh, or a lot of channels out there, these guys can really, really draw. And what they want to do is show you that they can draw. So they're teaching more advanced, maybe not thinking about it because they're not going to just back down off of their talent to show you guys, the beginners, where to start, where exactly to take that pencil and put it down and what to do. So I have decided to dedicate this channel for the beginners or to the beginners and then uh, beginners, kind of intermediate, and then um, find something to do with your drawings. Like, I love comics, so I'm going to teach you guys how to draw from the beginning and then take it into doing comics. Or maybe if you want to do children's stories or if you just want to do um, design, character design for, for gaming or whatever. But the skills that I'm going to show you are going to, are going to teach you from the beginning and then take you to more the advanced stage. But... For this channel, I'm going to keep it for the beginner and then kind of progress. And once you get to a certain stage where you don't need it, then you're on your own and you can find other people or other channels to help you develop from there. So another reason is, is because I work. I still have a full-time job. I have to get up at 2 a.m. in the morning to be at work at 4. And I get off at 1. And when you get off, you, when you don't get enough sleep, you just your creative mind just, just suffers. So I plan on retiring in the next, I think about four months, so I can completely dedicate everything to my channel and doing my comics. You know, I also want to start a business with that and, you know, eventually hire people that are good at drawing to help with that. And this is going a little long. I didn't want it to go that long. But um, yeah, yeah, something else I was going to say, I forgot. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll say it in the beginning, in the, in the, in the, as we go. So let's get started let's get started what was i saying i'm retiring uh I put my put my all into the channel oh i'm gonna change the name and the whatever that little thing is the, the little billboard thing in the beginning on my on my youtube channel i don't know the header the header 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 i think that's what they call it so yeah i'm gonna do all that all right so the last video i had i showed you the top the top half, your torso, got into the arms. I'm just going to show you the torso. So this one, I'm going to show you the bottom half. It's not going to be too long a video, but I'm going to break it down starting today for the beginners. And everything, everything, everything is a shape. That's it. If you can't draw something, if you find out that you cannot draw something because you're not drawing that shape that it takes to get that thing looking right. Okay. So we're going to do the lower half. We're going to do the, 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 the hips. And the legs. All right, so starting out with the shape. Of course, if you've been with the channel, you know you're doing the upside down house. So I'm gonna make it easy. I'm gonna break it down. That's what I'm gonna do for the beginners. I'm gonna break it down as much, as much, as much, as much, as much as I can. So we have the square, right? Have the square. Chop it off here, chop it off there, leave this part in the middle. That's why I call it the upside down house because basically it's an upside down house. When we're young, we always draw a house. We draw a house, oh, mommy, this is the house we're gonna live in. You know, draw your house with your chimney, crooked crooked chimney, smokestack. So we have that. This is this is the, the shape you need for the torso. Now this is torso, the um, hips, 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 get it right, get it right. Hips and waist always throw me off. So from the front, there's the center line, that's from the front, simple, square, top it off like a V, and just leave this little thing. You can make the V and then just round it off either way. So this is from the front. Now from the side, you're going to have, let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to have this 
more of a rectangle versus a square. And then you're going to have this part like that. So if you draw like half of a heart, you know, heart is shaped like this. Everybody can draw a heart. You want to take half of that and you want to turn it upside down, kind of like you're doing a J or a hook like that. All right. Erase that line. So that's going to be the side of your character. The back of your character, let's, let's chop it off right here. The back of your character is going to be the same here, except what I do, especially when it comes to women, and I'll do some women on another page. Same thing here. Center line. Now you're going to curve just like you're going to draw that heart again. You're going to curve around. So this is going to be the buttocks right here. Now the only thing about this or doing the buttocks is that, is that what? I just lost it. <laughs> One, you don't want to bring it all the way up. You want to do a little, a little Y shape right here. And usually you're going to have pants on, so you're not going to have this little, this little Y right there, but it only goes like so far up. And the one thing I was going to say, I don't make it square like this. Get rid of this. I always bring it out a little bit more. Like that. Kind of like I'm doing the heart again upside down. So you don't want it straight up and down like this. You want it to kind of curve out. And you know, even though this part is straight up and down, you want the back to curve out a little bit more. And it depends on if you're doing the female or the male. And as I say, you don't always, you won't need this. Let's take this away and let's take this V away because that's, that's you know, that's too new. Okay, so we have that and that. And usually the men, you have the um, those little dimples for when you do those, that um, the glutes, you work on glutes, get the butt tight. So you have that. Now, um, and if I turn this and I'll do something, because I'm going to put legs on this, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it down here. So if I do it like a three-quarter view, I'm just taking the square again. Can you see that? No, lift it up. I'm taking this square, and I'm taking the center line. Pull it down. <laughs> Get it right. Taking the center line, and I'm not going to put it in the center. I'm going to put it on the side. Okay? So then I'm going to do this. I'm going to have that V again, but that V is not going to be a perfect V. It's going to be off-centered, short here, and long here. That's all. And then don't make it too high. And then your legs are going to fit here. Now, when I turn it to the side, I I just kind of imagine there's an opening like this. Because your legs are going to have to fit down in there. But you still want to have that room. You want to still want to, looking for a pin, you still want to have that room here. So this is going to be like the crotch right here. You're going to have that room, that space. And then you're going to have this for your uh, leg to fit in. And it's gonna curve around, this is here, and this is gonna be up, and of course, like I said, this is not gonna be in the center anymore. And it, it's, gonna be, it's either gonna be flat, or you're gonna get a little bit of opening, depending on how high you see, or how high the eye line is. Because whenever you start drawing, you wanna see where your eye line is first, first. All right, so, now, doing legs, let's do legs. So there are three pieces to the legs, three pieces to the leg. There's an oval, an oval, there's the circle, and usually a lot of, a lot of, a lot of um, videos that teach you how to draw, they'll say do this, and do the circle, and then do this, and do another circle, and do this, and then, you know, you, you're constantly doing the circles. I only use circles either for the elbow sometimes but definitely for the knees because there's a little space in between your, your shin and your this part of the leg and whenever i try to name parts i lose it so we're gonna have the oval oval which is just this and this is why i say you need to master your shapes if you master your shapes you are almost there for being a great drawer you have that which goes up into here because your legs go way it really go way up in here but for the sake of easy drawing, we're just going to stop the legs here. 
But I mean, if you have to draw your oval, draw it all the way through, and you can always erase it later. So you have your knees, and this part and this part are the same length. So I've seen a lot of beginner beginner drawers who have like one part of their arm too long and the other one too short. So remember, they're like the same the same length. So if this is like a foot, this other part is going to be a foot long too. Just just saying, not necessarily as a foot, but you know what I'm saying. So an easy way to do the leg itself is just to do a straight line, especially with the females. This is how I always draw my female legs: straight line down, straight line down. I'll do this first and then you can do a straight line, straight line. So the other part is just another oval, but it's more of a, not so much of a cone, but you know it's gonna be narrow, narrower, that's my hard word, down here and wider up here. So the easy part is just do this and then just come like this until you get that. So basically you're gonna go, you're gonna do, you're gonna do like a slight mountain, come in and then come back through this mountain again and back down. And that's the kind of the same way with the inner part of the legs, even though you did it straight. For the women, I tend to keep them straight. Now I'll show you that on the next page, but let's do the feet. Let's get down there and do some feet. So it's gonna be straight in. Your foot is gonna be straight in here because it's straight in and it's gonna go out here. And that's gonna be a triangle, half of a triangle. Here's my triangle. Let's, let's do some blue. Let's get some, let's get colorful. Some blue. So, and here's the other half of my triangle right there. So, you see, that's it's just a triangle cut in half. The only part about blue is blue is hard to erase. So, we have that triangle here. You don't want to make it too too far out, so you can like chop it off right here, and then have it like that. And if you want the foot out, um, not facing forward straight at you, you want to do a, I guess you call it a wedge. You do your triangle, but you, instead of stopping it here, you bring it all the way out more. And then from here, you want to do another line like that. So you have that wedge or that, that slice of cake right here. Now that's if you want to, you know, if you want to turn one foot one way and have the other one the other way. And then what you can do here is just kind of round that off a little bit. Put your put your arch, I think it's your arch, right in here. And then just round this part off and then get rid of this for the most part. So it will look something like this. It's, there's a slope for the foot too. I know I made it straight, but there is a slope right here and then you come down here's my heel here's my arch and i'm twisting it it's been a minute since i've had to do anything on the camera so i'm forgetting that i'm actually filming and then there and then just bring that out a little bit more <clears throat> and then you have more of a turn to the side not exactly the profile foot but you have a little bit more because this you had this showing you that it wasn't completely turned profile Completely turned profile would be like just just regular triangle. You won't see this like that. But if I do this and I do this, and remember you want to, whichever way this goes <clears throat> in perspective, you want to keep the front of that toe, you want to keep the front of that toe like that as well. So that's the difference between turning it sideways and front ways. And you don't have to turn it that far. You can just do it just a little bit like this. So it won't, you won't see all of this side. You just see a little bit of the side and then you, you let it go here. And then you just kind of round it off. If you're drawing feet, if you're drawing toes, that's a whole different story. But then you just put a, put your arch here. You can actually put this going through that. And I'm, I'm exaggerating to make it seem like it's not turned that much. It won't go way back there. Like I said, I'm just exaggerating at that, at that point. And then you have your foot, or you can lift it up a little bit more. It depends on the angle of the foot, the way the foot is sitting. So we have this leg. We have that leg. You have your major muscle, like almost to the end of this, about right there. It comes down around about halfway. And then it curves around and up into that knee. And I'll tell you the name of that muscle later. Maybe if I can remember it, I'll have it 
right here on the screen and it comes up and it um, goes back in. It's like a teardrop. It's like a drop of water. You know, if it's raining, you have a drop of water. Stop messing your paper up. You need that area <laughs> like that. And then you have a second one that comes from the side down and curve around. Now, unless you are like a super, 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 super bodybuilder, you really won't really see that much, but you will see this, this leg right here, this muscle right here comes around. So with that, I usually tuck my knee in because this one, you can come around like that. You can have that, but this is actually going to come out of your knee. This You have this lump here, you have this lump here, and this actually goes down and into the shin, the, the shin bone. And then you're going to have your... Um, calf like that so with this you already have what you're going to do so here right under that knee you're just going to come out and then just make this little piece of circle and it's going to curve around and i always kind of put a little curve to my legs it just makes it more curvier i guess but as i say you're going to have this it's going to come out like that so you're going to have this come here it's a little piece that curves out and then goes around it's kind of like one piece one punch and then stop it your knee is is going to be more over a little bit remembering where the center of your leg is that knee is going to the knee is kind of oh it's not really in the center it's kind of like over a little bit but usually i'll do this 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 uh shape this um gym shape i can't think of the shape of it for the knee, I don't really kind of connect it, but you have that shape. Just remember, keeping you know everything in the center, and you'll be good. And then you have your ankle. Your your inner ankle is higher than your outer ankle. So if I'm doing something close up that I have to kind of show the ankle, I'll do this right here. Do this little thing right here for the leg, making sure my inner is higher than my lower, and then my foot. My foot. Like that. So, other side again. We're gonna go out, in at the knee, back out. So we're gonna go from here. You go. It's going to go in a little, <clears throat> in a little bit because this is curved. It's like that. It's curved, and it, it comes way up here. I, if I get bold enough, I'll stand up and, and get my model. It goes up here, and it kind of curves in, and it comes out for that muscle, depending on how muscular that leg is. And of course, this one comes all the way out, curves in, here's your knee, curves back out like that. So same thing here, you're gonna always, I always do this and this kind of like the, tells me if my leg is too long or not. So I will draw this for my leg and then I'll do this and that will let me know. If this is too long, I kind of feel it. It's just, the more you draw, the more you know, you feel, oh, that's not right. You, you'll also see it, but it's kind of, what is it? It's, uh, what do they call that? Muscle memory and drawing something like, you know how to make the letter B and J and P, you know, because you've done it so much, it's muscle memory. You can do it in the dark with your eyes closed. So <clears throat> here we go with this one here. Bring that in a little bit. Here's my knee, which goes around it and then down into that shin bone calf bring this out there and then my hips so now i'm gonna i'm going to instead of having square i'm going to bring it in more like that it's just so that i can have a smaller waist and then go into some thick lats so my character could be more muscular but you don't want to bring it out too much you know if for for the female because it'll look like a female which i'm going to do after this 19 minutes 21 seconds there are no cuts yet okay so here we go this is going to be from the side this is the male so the stomach the stomach is going to come on the outside and down into because this is bone the stomach is going to come down and into the crotch the leg as i say it comes up like this and then out Here's the buttocks curving around, and then here's my oval. And this is going to be too long. I'm not really worried about the actual length, but just size. 
this is my paper. I want it to fit on the paper. So it's going to be like this. It's going to go actually go in like this. Come around and around like that. Now, as I say, the stomach goes in like this. Is your back, is your stomach, and your chest is going to go like this. It goes in like that. Because the, that bone, that hip bone, is like right here. It goes right here. <clears throat> and in the next video, I'll show you the skeleton. I'll show you the skeleton. So we have this there. And I say for, you can do the little, little dimple for the man, you know, because he's been, He's been doing, you know, the glutes. You can, but I mean, most times this is really not um, prevalent. I don't know if that's a correct word for that. Because usually if you're drawing superheroes, give me a fatter marker, which I don't have. That's okay. You're, we're just putting like a belt, shorts, you know, and then that's it. There's no real muscle in here, which there is muscle that goes down so this is this is this is my center line this is my abs they, they they go all the way down into the crotch you have your two here you have your belly button you have another one here and then you have a one kind of large one but i mean if you're really muscular you can spread that down but you won't see that because as i say this is nothing that's just predominantly you know shown you know, that's this we color, the color, the shorts, unless they have a symbol on the shorts or whatever. So the shape is all you need to know on how it is done. So same thing with this. I'm use blue. I don't want to really cover it up yet. Same thing with this. And then you have your, your belt. And then that's colored. So, yeah. All right, so we're going back down. We're going to this again. So we're going to have our knee is going to come out, kind of like a, the rooftop, come out. And then you're, you're going to suck it in. It's not going to go straight. Kind of give it a little curve in. So it's going to go in, and it's going to come back out for the calf. Remember, under the knee. So if you want to, you can do like this little eye almost. And then you curve out and then back down <clears throat> to the ankle. And again, with, with the half of the foot, it's just going to be that long triangle. Simple shapes, shapes. They don't teach that. If they had, somebody had taught me that when I was young, I'd have been, you know, the next Picasso. Picasso was a painter, but he drew it before he painted it. So yeah, just little simple tips that you know help you. Now the calf muscle, I think, goes like this and then down, but you're not going to see really a lot of of muscles. From the side, uh, this is an inner. You have this one, you have this, but that's from the front. And I believe there is here, and maybe there. I, I'd have to recheck that because I don't, I don't do a lot of side muscles. I'm doing my hands like you can see, but yeah. So you can just put a little curve right there, and then down a little lump right there, and then down. But the calves have. Um, more muscles so you're going to see it from the side because you have two it's kind of like the tricep and the bicep tricep tricep and the calf are kind of like the same kind of like the same so now you have that so same thing if you want to if you want to do like a three-quarter you just put the other leg here and then you have your you kind of almost like your three-quarter view you put your stomach here too where the person is is um, turned just a little bit, center line. Yeah, and you have your leg, or you can bring your leg out or bend it or however, but just know whatever you do, it's at oval. It's always at oval, the circle for the knee, because there's a diff definite space between these two ovals. And then that calf, the straight down, that calf, and then the foot. <clears throat> so if I did that and covered everything else up, it would be like this. That straight down. In my calf. And where's my foot at? Foot is there. Or oh, my other leg is there. My foot. Like that. And then you have like your 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 inner your inner muscles. 
But again, <clears throat> people don't show that. You'd have to really, 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 really be incredibly buff, you know, to actually show every little muscle that um, was from the outside and the inside of your thigh. Most times we just we show from the front and we show from the back. All right, so from the back again, um, you can, let's go. Let's let's open it up a little bit. I was gonna have the legs come straight down, so I'm gonna go straight down. I was gonna have the legs come straight down and in, standing together. But we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. Make it even simpler for you. I gotta tell you, it's crazy hot in this room right now. So we're gonna have the oval again. And you're going to, this is gonna connect because you have the, I don't know what you call that, the connections for the muscles like that. You won't see the knee because you have this blocking. Your knee is small and you have that blocking it. So you're going to have this come in and you're going to go directly into your calves. So this is going to come in like this and then you're going to have that part. Can you see this? Yeah, because the glare is getting to me from my overhead light. Like that. And then you're going to have, oh, I forgot what this is called. Um, yeah, anyway, it goes up to the calf. And then you're going to have just, it's shaped kind of like a drumstick maybe. Like this. And then you're going to flatten that. And that's going to be, that's what the back of your foot looks like. And if you want to put some angle to the, Feet, instead of your feet facing forward, your feet usually go out like this way. If, if you're standing, don't roll away. If you're standing, nobody feet, no one's feet stand like we don't stand like this. Some some women have that little, I think it's called a pigeon toe when you when you when you your foot go in. And a lot of anime they draw the women standing with the feet in because it's kind of cute, you know. But we actually stand kind of like this. So if you're standing like that, you're gonna see just some 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 inside or some side of the foot so again the little chicken chicken bone and then you have this piece comes out like this and then your calf the center you have this curve here and it separates like i said it's the same as, as your tricep tricep bicep tricep tricep yeah so basically, you're going to do the like upside down U or mountain, and then you're going to do that, and it comes down like that. I mean, if you really want to get, um, you know, crazy with it, then you can do the, which I would never do, the, um, I can't think of what that's called. This is the striation, the, the muscle fibers of it. Yeah, so, and you're going to have this, and then the back of the muscles. So... Let me change this because <clears throat> this is where this is why I go wide with this. I go wide and then go in narrow with this. So, and you don't want the buttocks to come up like this. You want to stop it down here. And let me let me not be lazy and let me get this one of my. Um, reference guys to, to see what the muscle in the back of the leg looks like come off and I bought this guy and I'm, I'm gonna cover up his little his little private parts you know so you know I, I got this because I actually wanted to get into detail oh I'm showing his private parts I want to actually get into detail of you know the muscles even though we won't we won't be drawing it <clears throat> too much but the calves <clears throat> the calves are like this like two lumps there and you'll see this you won't see it like this this is like when you are really really ripped but you will see the two lines come like this and i think that just that's these two lines here because you don't you don't want it to just be without those lines you want people to actually to people to actually know there's a separation between the two so and then this one this side is wider than the inside so you want to go out a little bit more because it is out there for the calf 
because this one comes and the calf goes there and it goes down. So, all right. And again, the buttocks, the buttocks, the buttocks. You see how you, you have that little dimple right here. You want to stop it right here. You don't want it to go all the way up. And the legs, let me see, this way, the legs covering up this junk again. For the, for the young kids, the legs go all the way up here, up to your love handle. But for, we have shorts on, you know, we, we just curve it around like this. And then, as I say, your abs, your abs come all the way down into your, that area. I'm going to say your pelvis, your pelvis. When I try to name these things, it just, it just, I get lost. All right, so let's, let's do a female real quick. It'll probably be about an hour video, but you're learning, you're learning. All right, again, we want to do the square. I'm going to make it. I'm not going to make it any smaller. But for the fe female, sorry, hiccup. Female, I'm going to do more like a home home plate. Home, home, home plate, home base for you football players. Football player. Come on, Brian, stop talking. Yeah. Baseball. More like that. I'm trying to think what, what, what shape that could be. It's still the house. It's still the house shape. And it just brings it in more at the um, sides. So since I've got this, I'm going to go ahead and continue to draw the legs for the female. So what you want to do is you want to keep curving it around. If you want to do straight down, I'll do I'll do two quick ones and then the rest. So I'm going to go straight down. If you're just drawing a pin up, you want the one straight up and down. Legs straight up and down or together. Say it right. Just bring it in. Here's my knee. Okay, the halfway. It's gonna be my knee right here, my knee right here. Curve it from that into that knee again. And then of course we're gonna curve it back out and down. And it just takes practice. If you draw a lot of men, when you tend to draw a woman, it kind of looks like a man. So you have to be able to know. Make it smooth. Don't have like lumps in it. Just one smooth shape. And then of course you have your legs come up again like this. Come up again like that. So you're going to leave a little bit of opening there. These are going to touch. The thighs are going to touch. They're going to come in at the knee where they don't touch. And it's going to go back out. And then the calves are going to touch. And it's going to come back out again right there. So you have your openings. You have your openings here, here, and then here. But that, I'll bring that back a little bit more. So notice how I drew the straight line, and I just curved it out a little bit more. And then your feet, the feet. Depend, like I said, if you, you want your feet down like that, or if you want your foot flat on the ground, if you want the foot turned out more. You know, you can have this, you can have this, you can have this. Depending on how the person stands, you can have this, and the person, she would be flying or floating if the feet are all the way down like this. This is more like um, either she's standing on a hill or she's leaning forward um, that you can see the top of the foot. If the ground is like this, then you want the foot to be kind of flat or not turned sideways. So that way you can, that way you just do this. You show more of this front slice and then she looks like she's standing on solid ground flat surface so we have this calf <clears throat> we have this calf or oh, this this yeah this side of the calf this like that and you want to keep it like I said you want to keep it smooth as it, it practice for that and I don't put this center line in there really so I'm gonna curve around like this and then go in go in around like that and this this is the portion where I started to rush so as I say you can have several ways inner inner is higher than the outer let's just say if your character is flying or floating that leg is going to be down or if she's on the floor and sticking that one toe out or you can have this one like this or you can have the other one more like that we just show just a little bit of, of side or you can have it just where it's a she's profile. I'm doing my hands like you can see over there. It's the profile. 
So, okay, I showed you that. Now let's do a small one with the legs open. A small, quicker with the legs open. So this is going to be here, here, that center line. And of course, you again, you want to leave the room. So leave some room. So you want to have this, 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 and this. So you're just drawing these spikes, I guess spikes so where's my knee my knee's gonna be right here my knee's gonna be right here so again bring this to the knee and then go back out this is flat so I don't want too much curve in this one I want a little curve in there curve here to the knee and then curve out see I'm gonna get a little more calf my calf is not gonna be as as long or wide as far out as a man's males it's going to be more of a shapely see if I can do it with a pen without screwing it up keep this one shape here's my knee get out of the way like that so you bring this in and out like that so you don't want the muscular muscular uh, leg for the female and again we're going to do my foot. How do I want to do my foot? I'll always do the triangle. Always do some type of triangle for my foot. And if I'm not sure, then I'll do this. And instead of this being flat, I might bring it back a little bit like that. And then it'll give her that, it'll give the picture that, that look that is still on flat ground because it's going back in perspective. And the same thing with this, this foot here. my triangle I'm I'm going to keep this one flat this side flat down and then cut across and then instead of being flat on the ground I'll take it up a little bit just angle it like that and it gives that that standing standing that gives it appearance of it standing right okay so we got the front let's do the side and the side again is flat where am I doing remember Brian there's a camera there's a camera. I, I have been doing my comics, so I haven't really had to keep anything, you know, focused. I was just pushing the paper all over the place. So we have that. Then we're going to do a bigger heart, bigger piece of that heart right here, that curve around. Whereas the man, you can have a flat, you can have a flat, depending, you know, he, he might not work out. It could be a little flat butt or something, you know. It depends. He could be an old man. He could just be, you know, Captain America with a nice, you know, nice rumpkiss. All right, so the female, like that. So again, we're gonna erase this. We have that, and then that's going to that's going to come in because the remember the stomach is gonna come like this. This is gonna go back, and then it's gonna go out. So the female is gonna curve, and nobody stands up straight. Nobody, we all stand at an angle. Nobody stands up straight like this. We stand at an angle. So whenever you're doing your your legs, you wanna kind of go back at an angle like that. So we have this, my knee, and then we're gonna have this. And usually the women, I will do this bit of a curve versus the men, I'll kind of give it a little bit of a lump right here, but the females, remember the calf, is not going to be um, as shapely as a man or as cut as a man. So I'm gonna keep this, keep this. as smooth as possible and then the foot a little a little bit of the arch right there or if you want to do a heel and that was the one thing I, I was trying to kill myself to learn how to draw heels because all my characters had on heels and it's been a while I just know that the, the the heel is right here and I don't know how women you know God bless you women who wear heels all the time you know it's just to, to, to make men to, to look better, it just looks good. This is gonna go down, and then you're gonna have flat right here, depending on the, the type of the heel. So this is gonna be, it's almost kind of like straight, and then you got your toe right there. This is the part that they walk on, and then there's your heel right there. So just remember you have your calf, calf, your heel, tired, when you get tired of rush, you have your arch of your foot going down, and, you, and it's flat right there. So you have this part, 
going down and then this part here and then however you put your heel like that study up and then wherever your shoes you know I love the shoes that have the little strap right there and then it comes here and it goes up and then you have your like I said I study I was looking at all kind of women's shoes and you know which 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 are the best for my characters so yeah that's the heel and then just like I said smooth that out this should be more going forward than coming up it comes up it's not too bad a little bit of for the knee not too much and goes back a little bit of a calf goes up like that not too much too many curves as I say and then the buttocks could be however athletic butt curve round whatever stomach comes in and then like that and then of course you have your back so basically it's in the shape it's in the shape I'm not gonna draw I wouldn't draw like calves and you know stuff like that for the female and you know side muscles anything like that because it, it takes away from the shape the shape is basically all you should be able to see so we got the side we got the back let's do the back let's flip flip it over no, let's get a whole new piece. That way I can, you can see it all together. We got this and we got this. So the back is going to be the same as this, except I make it even wider, wider. So I'm going to do this and I make it even wider because she, she has to have, you know, a nice derriere. So again, we have this and then for the man, you make it flat like this. For the female, you take it down. like that and then you you because of the way the hip is shaped uh the hip the, the, the hip bone is shaped like this like this let me look at my, my little thing it's like this and something like this something like that and get the hole there but because of that it's like your 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 um the skin is hitting right here and it's hitting you have your bone that comes out and then it goes down so it's going to hit, it's going to dip in, and it's going to hit again right there. That's why you usually see those two lumps on a female um, in drawing or even, you know, in the gym where they wear the gym, that little suction part in right there, that, that, that's this little open area. And then where that bone hits again, you see that other mountain, shall we say. So anyway, we have this, we have this. So I'm going to not bring the legs too far open. And I'm going to curve them around like that because we are going to do my, my knee or the reverse part of the knee. And this is going to go curve around in. This is here and I'm rushing again for time's sake, time's sake. And this is longer than that so remember what i said about that you got to keep it you got to keep it um this if this is a foot this needs to be a foot too or however long the person is and then again you have your um little chicken bone because you have what is the end the inner is here and the outer is down here the the um ankle flat and you know if you want to bring that foot in make that flat because that heel is flat bring that foot in you know because like i said you see in anime they always bring that foot in but if you want to bring them back both out at the end of your leg shin your leg this part of it cut it right here and then do your your heel like that and then depending on how much the person, you don't want to have it like this because that means the person's whole body has shifted a lot. So you just want to have just a little bit of that. So if I have just a little bit, this has got to come in, like I said, it goes up. And then you just kind of curve this, keeping it curvable. <laughs> and you have that. And then, so I was like, it's like this, and then it's like that. But just make it smooth. When you really get in deep into it, then you can you can do that. And then it curves around and out. And you want 
this part to be real narrow down here. You don't want this to be fat. So you don't want your calf to come way down here like I just did that. You want your calf to be here and then transfer into the narrowness of her narrow leg. And then, of course, you have the gap here. So you're going to go in here because the buttocks is like this. And let's do this for all you young cats. <clears throat> whose mama wouldn't really understand why you were drawing, you know, the female. So you would have to basically keep it smooth. So let me get the other, the other mannequin while I'm standing up. Well, I wasn't standing up, but I'm standing up now. So this is the other one that I bought. And it's dusty. So you look at it like that. You see how this muscle comes down here? This one, it stops right here. It doesn't go all the way up, even though she, this does have a little bit of a um, little indentation here because she works on her glutes. So, yeah, and it, this, this hip, it comes up, dips right here, and it comes right back out because of that bone. Um, calves are smaller, and then you have that more of a, this shape, more of a shape to it. And this sticks out for, for women. That's the one thing they have this part that comes out right here. So you want to go in and then it goes out because I haven't, I really don't do too much of the back and it goes out and then up. I don't do too much of women from behind. It's usually more action positions, but for you beginner drawers, beginner, beginner drawers, you have something to go by right now. So, of course, and then once you hit this, you want to curve, you want to bring that waist and you want to curve back out to give it that, um, that hourglass shape. Like that. So, last video showed you to do the upper half, but I didn't show you how to do the women. So, the next video, I'll show you how to I'll do a quick upper half of the women, which is the same as the men, except there's just a couple extra couple extra steps to it so now you know the legs and then we'll get into more of um uh foreshortening with the legs which i've, I've done a many many uh, many times uh, many times on my on my channel so you know as a somebody asked me it's what they apologize for something you know, we said about do a video on something, and I guess he might have saw that I did a video on it already and was apologizing. There was no need to apologize because, as I say, if I do a video on the same subject, it's because I've learned something else to show you guys. So, yeah. That's going to be it for this video. So now you know how to do the lower half. You know how to do the upper half so you can connect them. And that's how you start because when I first started, all I wanted to do was just my character just, you know, posed up. You know, because I was, you know, you know, you know, stop that, you know, because I just wanted to learn how to draw a cool, you know, hero position in the beginning. That's all I wanted to do and show my 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 uniform or, or my costume for my character. And in the beginning, basically, that's that's I just kept doing that, kept, you know, oh, I just my, my, my character to just just looking good. So I do the, you know, do the pose and, you know, all of my characters had the same basic pose. But they just had different costumes on, and then I learned how to eventually shift them around a little bit and draw, you know, bigger, bigger characters, you know, smaller characters, and just do bo different body types. And that's something you should learn. If you have a team, you should learn how to do body types, different body types. Like Wolverine initially was like four something. The, the original Wolverine was like four foot something, if I'm not mistaken. He was just over a midget's height, which they call them little people now, you know, want to be all, you know, proper about it. But he was, you know, he was short. So you would have to learn how to draw somebody that was, you know, same size, but shorter or, or wider, wider and shorter without making it look like a kid or somebody like this in the background. But we'll get into all of that as I go along and most of it is your feet anyway it's your legs excuse me it's your legs usually your torso is going to be like the same size and you just you just have shorter 
midriff right here and a shorter legs to make somebody shorter but the same same age same build and you keep him on the same line that way he won't look like he's behind another thing we'll you know get more into that but yeah so when once i learned how to do the body parts that I had to teach myself because nobody really showed me back in the day. They didn't have all of the videos and stuff back in the day. It was just it was just you and your pencil. <laughs> and then I just all my all my characters were like that. And then I okay, I'm gonna get my, he's gonna have a gun. And it's gonna be cool like that. And then this and strapped up and this and that. Yeah. So now you know how to draw the, the body, front, side, and back. Put them together. You can start designing your characters <clears throat> or a character. And then we'll go from there. And then eventually we'll move into putting several characters together, putting them in scenes, and then get into doing comics and so forth. So, you know, what's the, what's the, what's the use of learning how to draw and not doing anything with it or making some kind of money with it or blessing somebody with a drawing of their character? So it's all about helping the other guy and helping yourself at the same time. All right, so that's going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next video which we will do shoulders. Somebody asked me about the shoulders, so we're gonna work on the traps, work on the traps. So you have those traps look how they, to make somebody either really, really, really muscular or the, the female shoulders, which are the traps, or you know, kids shoulders. So we're gonna get into shoulders in the next one. So you can start putting your guys together and we'll turn them around, of course. Every time I do something, I wanna turn it around, give it like a 360, 360 kind of view while I work on my next book. You work on too many books, Brian. That's it. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming back and tell a friend. I forget to say that. Tell tell people. Tell people. Help me. Help me. Help me grow my channel back again. Yeah. Later.